Hi, welcome to Focus Camera. Today I'm going to show you how to do a quick focus stack using Photoshop. A focus stack can be used for macro photography to use a lot of images with a shallow depth of field and stack them together to get better clarity and focus, but it can also be used to stitch things like panoramas and other types of images, including composites of um, landscapes, things like that together. It's a pretty simple process. The first step you have to do is you have to import all the photos, which I've actually already done, but I just want to show you where I did that and how I did that. I went up to file and I went to scripts, not just open. You have to go to scripts and you have to load files into stack and then browse for your images, select all of them. It puts them in this menu right here and then you would click OK. The reason I'm not going to just do this while it's on screen is it actually is pretty time consuming. The computer has to think about each of these layers that it's putting into the system. So it takes a little bit of time. So to save time, I've already loaded all of the images into the into the, what I'm going to make for my stack. So this image is actually a teeny tiny portion of the cap of an acorn. It's this little tiny part right here with two tiny scales on the side of an acorn cap. You can see the pencil here for size comparison. And it doesn't look like much of anything when you just look at one image at a time. And right now with all these images basically on top of each other, you can only see the, the one image that's basically on top. So what we need to do is we need to align all of these layers and we need to allow the computer to blend them together so that we get the best parts of each image to show in our final composited focus stacked image. So to do this, we're going to select all the layers like I just did. I clicked the one at the top and I held shift and then I clicked the one at the bottom. So now they're all highlighted and selected. I'm going to go to edit and there are two things that need to be done in edit. First, we need to do auto align. And I'm not going to actually have the computer do this right now because it, again, is time consuming. But what you'll see after you click this is an option menu where you can choose what kind of alignment of layers you want to do. So for this, I'm going to be just using the auto, but you can see there's different kinds and there's tutorials on all these different types of alignments that you might want to choose from. But for our purposes, we're going to select auto. But you would see the computer start to do the work and it gives you a little progress bar. And what it does is it looks for parts of the image that it can compare from one image to the next and then it lines those parts up like this shadow area here and stacks them based on those features. Then once you've done that, keeping all of your layers selected, you go back up to edit again and you click auto blend layers. Once I select auto blend layers, it'll bring up an option for me to either select panorama or stack images. Since I'm not doing a panorama where it's stitching images side by side, I'm going to select stack, Im stack images and then I would select OK. What this does is it takes your stack and it creates masks for every layer and it keeps only the best parts and the most focused parts of each image. And this is a stack of about 30. And so you can see we've gone from this, which is one image, to this, which is the best parts of all of the images together. And it doesn't, it still doesn't look like much of anything because it is just the edge of an acorn cap. But the, the detail of what's actually there, it's almost, it's not microscopic, but it's pretty amazing what's actually there when you get really close. The equipment I used for this was a Mitocon Creator Lens 20 millimeter f2. It's a super macro that goes to four times and four and a half times uh, magnification. And I used this with my newer, uh, newer macro focusing rail. And this one has the quick plate so you can easily put your camera on and off. And then obviously I did use a tripod. This again was a focus stack of about 30 images, a focus stack of 50 or even 100 might really be what you would need to get a really crisp, clear image. Again, that takes a lot of time for the computer to do the processing. Um, additionally, I did another focus stack that was this uh, jawline of a beetle that I found. And you can see the, the fine details. Again, it's a stack of 30. I maybe should have done 50 or 100. But this is all the little fine hairs and filaments underneath the jaw of this green iridescent beetle. And again, you can see the stack and all these layers are turned off and we just have the final stacked image. And that's really it. That's how you focus stack in Photoshop. 